Hey everyone, what is up? Ninbuzz Mudquaza again with a battle against Tornado Survives. So he's gonna lead off with a Crustal, I lead off with a Mama Champ, and I know that thing is sturdy, and the only way I'm gonna be able to prevent him from setting up any kind of hazards is to hit him with a dynamic punch and get him to hit himself in his confusion. But he doesn't, 50% chance, guess it doesn't work out for me. So he does get its Stealth Rocks on the field, which is kind of annoying for me, because I do have quite a bunch of Pokemon that are weak to Stealth Rocks. So I get a, a free substitute pretty much, and he doesn't hit himself in his, conf in his confusion, unfortunately. And he's able to get up his Stealth Rocks, he's able to get up one layer of Spikes, and since Stone Age is super effective, it'll be a lot more powerful than Dynamic Punch, but still, it's not quite enough to knock him out. And even though he does hit himself in his confusion that turn, it, he still doesn't die. His fucking crabs are really, really hard to get rid of, as Paris Hilton would probably know. So. I finally kill him off with another Stone Edge because I didn't want to waste my Dynamic Punch PP. And he goes out to Starmie, thinking he's going to be able to, you know, live whatever move I have, not predicting I have Payback. And since I move last, Payback is super ultra mega powerful and that'll easily knock out the Starmie. So the champ has taken out two Pokemon and lost absolutely zero HP, but at the cost of getting one layer of spikes and South Rocks on my side. So he can go out to his Victini and I'm fearing the V Create. But he's gonna go for the V Create, exactly like I suggested, on my defensive Garchomp, and that still does a hell of a lot of damage. But since V Create lowers def defense, special defense, and speed, and Garchomp is pretty darn fast, right, Skittles? Yeah, Skittles is my son, Kanye, if any of you don't know. I'm going to be able to outspeed him and kill him with an Earthquake. Thankfully, that Victini would have been a bitch to take out later on because they're just so damn powerful, especially now with the inclusion of Fusion Bolt and V Create in its move pool with the event. So I'm going to protect just to see what this Metagross wants to do and he goes for the Psychic so I'm thinking he's a Specs Metagross and Psychic isn't going to affect my Spirit Tomb because I'm part Dark type and what he does he withdraws. So I don't know what he was thinking there maybe he was going to go to his own Garchomp I don't know. So now his Garchomp is out of my Spirit Tomb I'm guessing I can take an Outrage which I do so I'm able to get off a Will-O-Wisp which will cut that Garchomp's attack in half making that Garchomp from a demon shark into a cute little Yorkshire Terrier puppy and I'm gonna just keep withering its HP away with the sucker punches and he's gonna have to lock himself in outrage and since he's burned that's not gonna knock me out in the second turn and I know he's stuck on it and Machamp is pretty bulky so I'm gonna be able to live this outrage here but I do get a lot of entry hazards on my team that's stuck inside Machamp's body and there he goes he's confused so I'm going to use that confusion to my advantage, or at least try to, since he's burned anyway. So he's going to hit himself in his confusion while I get up a substitute, which is awesome because, you know, another free substitute, I'm not complaining, why not? So, again, burnt, he can't do much, except he snaps out his confusion, goes for the outrage, and unfortunately, he's still burnt, and unfortunately, that breaks my substitute. So, I knew that would happen, so what am I going to do? I'm still going to set up another substitute. Why waste free substitute if he's going to die the next turn? So... I get out of that predicament with a free substitute, which is absolutely amazing on my part. So I'm going to be faster than Metagross, and I'm going to go for the Dynamic Punch, confuse it, and fortunately he's not going to hit himself in this confusion. He's going to go for the Psychic, since it's super effective, Metagross is Psychic Type 2. That's easily going to break the substitute, would have easily killed me off anyway, but I was not expecting the Bullet Punch. I have no idea what kind of item this Metagross has at all, since he especially is Bullet Punch. I don't even know what he could be carrying. Maybe an Expert Belt? I don't know. So, I'm going to go out to Larvesta. Why? Because I can. And Choice Bandit Flare Blitz for the win. It'll knock that thing out. But unfortunately, it'll knock me down to 41 HP, meaning I can't switch in because of the Spikes and Stealth Rocks. So, I'm going to have to let Lucario kill me off with a Mach Punch. Gets a crit. Useless again. Or Vacuum Wave. And... I know that Shaman is going to outspeed, if not, well, he's not going to die. So Earth Power will kill off the Lucario, and that was a great game. Short, fun, I got to use some fun pokes, especially Larvesta, which is always fun to use. So guys, like this video, please. Check out my channel in the description. I make lots of these narrations and some random videos like Call of Duty videos. And leave a comment, please, and I'll catch all you guys, I'll catch all you guys later. Peace.